there. <laughs> Do you have a webcam on you? Just click on the video camera thing. Yeah, uh, let's see. Okay, so now, now it's not. Okay, there you go. Uh, use your camera alone. Yes. Okay, now you can see me. Right? Yeah, okay. Wait. Right. Wait, wait, wait a second. Let me turn let me turn okay, this off. So, let me, um, yeah, can you see me better now? Alright. Hey everybody. Hey. Hey, 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 yeah. So what uh Mario, what's your partner's name? Uh yeah, let's do that first. Let's uh introduce everybody. Um, okay. So, so you already know me, mate. Uh, Amy. Yeah. So uh, let, let's. Uh, so again, I'm, I'll just reiterate. Um, so I'm the brand strategist of Manufacture. Uh, what do we do? Is we create, you know, just um, uh, brands, you know, perce cu customer perception uh, for people, and that's basically what I do. So Nathan, go ahead. Hey, my name is Nathan, Nathan Kostov. I'm a digital marketing strategist. I've worked or contracted under different. Uh, marketing companies or design companies, and um, I'm basically in charge of doing websites, doing funnel conversion, and marketing strategy for manufacturer. I'm also the co-founder. Uh, so your 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 marketing um your your background is in marketing. Yes. And uh, you worked for the industry of manufacturing. Uh, we didn't work specifically for manufacturing. Manufacturing. That's what we were going to do before. But yeah. Right now we're just doing brand strategy, um, which is um, goes a little bit more cross-platform in terms of uh, not just being specific to manufacturing. Manufacturing in the industry. So. Okay. Um. Do you mind to share with me? Um. Your um a few of the. Uh, uh, the project that you right but before we do that Amy before we do that well let's just let's continue with the structure of the meeting so I want to know well, let's hear about you what what do you do let's go let's go to you okay so I am an IT architect IT architect okay so I have been working on just about any any architect infrastructure hardware network uh, Security application database, data warehouse, big data, um, integration, middleware, enterprise. You can name it. Basically, you can name any architecture that I have done. I've done it, uh, all of them. Um, so I am working on a project. Um, I do need a help in terms of user experience design and interface design and the marketing. So no, I do need the people, those two areas. But I wanted to see uh, what you have done before, see if your background is uh, is something you know could uh, uh, I think could uh, helping us. And if that's the case, then we definitely started talking about uh, uh, you know the ways to, you know bring your guys on board uh, you know and uh, explore the option uh, before I. Um, I wanted to share with you uh, about the project. I want to know if you, uh, if your skill set is something you know, uh, right in the ballpark of what, what I'm looking for. So, in terms of brand, branding and the user interface, uh, user experience design, I want to see some samples of yeah, what you have done in the past. I think that's probably more on the Mario side. And on the other side of the marketing, then from the Nathan, uh, your name is Nathan, yeah. From Nathan, I wanted to sit out. And if you want to see something, probably tell me a few stories you know, you, you did in the past. So I'd be able to understand what kind of skills that you have, what kind of capacity, and what kind of you know, industry you know, you're familiar with. Fair? All right, so this is what we're going to try to get out of the meeting. So I want to know if you have a business plan, do you actually have a product at the moment, like an actual app prototype? 
Um, yes. You know, yeah, yes, yeah. We are one, we are two thirds finished the prototyping. Hmm. Okay. All right. So, but, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm recapping. That's what we want to get out of the meeting, and also the budget, of course. Um, and what mm -hmm. you want to get out of the meeting is, you know, we want to see some of the work. You want to understand if we have the skill level, you know, to do this work, basically, right? Right. Correct. Okay. Okay. All right. So, of course, mm -hmm. first starting with uh, what you know, what is your business plan, right? So, you know. No. I'm not going to share with you my business plan. Like I said, because my uh, business plan uh, has uh, patterns uh, include. I cannot talk about uh, any of okay. my patterns right now. That's why. So uh, if I talk publicly, we have a sign of NDA, and uh, I will uh, infringe myself of not be able to pattern uh, over this. Okay, so I cannot do that. Okay. So I cannot so Awesome. Yeah, any writing information with you without signing an NDA, but I don't think we are right there. I, I don't even know if I want to sign NDA with you mm. before I know what's your secret that. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, in terms of, you know, the skill set and the stuff that you're worried about, um, yeah, there's marketing and there's, you know, all that kind of stuff, but the particular what we're interested in working with, you know, the kind of businesses that we're working in um, are people who care about that kind of branding, the kind of touch, the kind of feel that a company gives. And I understand oh, that. Every industry, oh, I mean, every startup uh, wants to, you know, worry about the, all, all, all of those. The, the, I think the key here is try to find a fit. I, I think a marketing really know the, the industry you're working on and the, what have you done in the past. Okay, first of all, do you have an education in marketing? Um, I can share with you, I have a, a master in applied math specializing in artificial intelligence and second master in uh, computer science specializing in software engineering. So what is your background? Well, my story originally begins from teaching myself up about me. So I didn't actually go to college or obtain higher education. I'm very self-driven, and I just decided to teach myself on my own. Um, in terms of the tradition, I just didn't, uh, I didn't really agree with a lot of, you know, philosophically with what colleges were doing nowadays. And okay. since information is such a free open source out there, I kind of just went for it. And so then I transitioned from that to more so design and then ended up in branding. And so okay. I worked for a social media marketing company for not not very long, but what I decided there was that the only reason why people are going for social media is because the branding behind it, right? The skin in the game, the amount of um, the amount of feeling and, and 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 stuff in that industry. And so I haven't in terms of what you're looking for, you're looking, you're, you're, you're wanting numbers right now, right? You're wanting very measurable terms and stuff like that, right? Because you, you, are you feeling that you're, you're kind of at risk here right now? You know, when you say you don't have a formula, uh, formal education, what running through my mind is that I need you to really tell me a few successful stories. So I, I cannot just take it on what you say you can do without proving you have the skills, especially your self-educated. So to me, if you're self-educated and you're so competent uh, to doing what you, uh, you, you want to do, and you want to make money from it, you better be having some very good success story, which means that your story can tell me you actually did very well at least the equivalent well with the, the other people went to the uh, college. You know what I mean? So with, with, with this, I really need to hear your successful story. If you're saying, I do not have a successful story, that's fine. Let's talk about, let's talk about the theoretically how much you understand uh, marketing and what kind of approach you take if you, you, you're trying to help a company, a startup company, so how are you going to do about it? What is your philosophy? What is your method? What is the 
uh, treat, you know, you are so special than everybody else. You can do better than not the people went through college. So in, I need something from you to demonstrate that you can do a great job. Then, okay. you know what I mean? So right now, it's basically, I don't even know I, we should have this conversation. So you better start with Tell me if you don't have a success, success, success story in the past, meaning you do not really get your hands dirty yet. If you don't have your hands dirty, you better tell me what is special about you. I should believe you. So what you really want to get out of this is you want to see the case studies, basically. It's not case study if, 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 if you don't have Yeah, well, yeah well, no, what we did. What we actually, yeah. You need a successful success story. Okay, startup company are very busy, but as you know. So and for, for me to spend this time, I cannot educate you. I do not have time to educate you. Okay, so you Obviously. have to already know what to do. Then before I decide to put you on, so are you going to tell me or not? You're holding back or you don't have anything to tell? Or we're going to tell this me. Oh, we're not holding okay, we back. Are. We're just, you know, going through the motions. But, yeah, so let, let's go find, it's let's so do some. Yeah. The first time you're talking to any company, people, people already asked you before, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah, yeah exactly. people have asked us that. But in terms of, in terms of the expectations of the meeting, we had a structure. And so right now, in terms of, of what you're asking, the that, that kind of threw off, off our structure. We can send you case studies. I can I can tell you how I was able to get someone from page three to page one on Google that helped them, you know, increase their awareness and increase their um, their sign up rates and also that kind of stuff. I can send you that. But right now the meeting is about discovery, right? So discovering whether or not we're a good fit in our terms as well, and not just yours. Yeah, it's both. You understand that? I totally agree, but uh, but you need to understand that we saw the sign NDA. I cannot tell you much more. That's the problem, okay? Mm. So I already I already talked about this with Mario. I believe he understood, and that he's asking for this meeting. So you cannot blame me for. I, I guess okay. you know. Yeah, it's my fault. I'm sorry. Yeah. The, uh, okay. Listen, listen, listen. Even uh, out of state, you know. If it's in 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 this area, maybe we 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 have a face to face this. But right now, it's, it's really not my way or not way. I do I, I do not have a way to do that other than you tell me if it's worth for me to go through all the trouble, have NDA sign with you, then I can release the information. You know what I mean? I okay. do not have a choice. Okay. How about instead of releasing information about your product? or mm -hmm. your service or what's happening right now, can you give us just a general overview? The only thing I know right now is that you're trying to revolutionize, uh, what was it, Mario? Um, travel you, with you artificial you know, if, you're artificial. if you're not telling me your capability, I do not think I should stay on this phone call. You know, not not email, not prepared, because if it's a success story, it's in your mind. So you can tell me, in the next five minutes, what you have done in the past, one, two, three. The first project, when you get in, what kind of problem they have, and the, what you did to solve the problem, and the, what is the result. The second project, yeah. what you did, okay, very quick. Okay, so I worked with a, 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 brand, uh, a company out here called the Brand Awareness Institute. They were looking to raise awareness against multi-level marketing companies. Okay, but the problem was is that a lot of their stuff was all organic from searches because when people look at where people are going in terms of finding information uh, for multi-level marketing is on Google, but their page was ended up on three. Okay, they're on page three. And so if you're on page three, you might as well not be on Google at all, right? Mm -hmm. uh, especially the first four. So what I did was I, I assessed the situation because my specialty before was SEO as well. Okay, and so that's sort of where, um, where my where my capabilities were. And so, as I was assessing the situation, I realized they didn't have very many backlinks. Right, they had lots of outgoing links, but they didn't, they didn't have very many backlinks. And a lot of their competitors had lots and lots of backlinks. Right, because the way Google looks at different sort of websites and how to validate those websites for credible information for those searches is through backlinks. Right, 
And so when I went to him, and so he was talking about, he said, you know, I just, you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of done. I've been working with this SEO company for a while, and they haven't really done anything for me. And as I was going in, I was exposing what this SEO company was doing, and they were doing outdated methods. So they were doing public blog, you know, private blog networks, right? Which is very, very hard to scale because it has to be hands on. And so what I told him was, is that if we get very credible, um, you know, uh, backlinks back, then and then we can actually to get him to page one. And I also went through on-page optimization for him. And so in the matter of about a month, we got him from page three to page one. Now I can, you know, I can have you call him, you know, if you want him, if you want to talk to him about that, you know, uh -huh. but from there, people then started becoming more aware. People started inquiring more. And this also, this guy, um, he's the, you know, in terms of uh, level of expertise in this field, he's, I mean, he has a PhD. He's very, very, he spent the last 20 years researching MLMs. He has over 200 different studies on multi-level marketing. So it was very imperative for him to get in front of the people that he needed to get in front of. So that being mm -hmm. said, he got, you know, when he got there, people that are trying to build legal cases against multi-level marketing needed his expertise. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now mm -hmm. he's being found. So mm -hmm. that's one case study I can put for you. That's one story that I could, that I've helped someone, you know, mm -hmm. actually get in front of the people that they need. And so my process is, mm -hmm. my specific thing is I first start with the user, right? Of course, you know this, your startup, you know, that kind of thing. But some startups forget and some sort of, some startups have, you know, a general idea, but they don't have a concrete idea, right? right? Something firm, something like, like an actual defined thing. So mm -hmm. what I did with him is we went through that. And that's what me and Mario do, right? That's what Mario, Mario specialized. Mario is definitely more in the um, in more of the design space in terms of branding and brand identity. Yes. Right. And that's something super, super. And also uh, understanding consumer, you know, behavior is very important. Exactly. Um, it's for example, in my case, I've done many. Um, I've done my, many work with um, um, construction companies. And uh, one notable one also with a retailer. And the retailer was interesting because they're trying to connect with their customers and they wanted to show how they were flexible, but you know, their messaging was off, their, um, their design was off, everything was off. Uh, but before we even went into the messaging or the design, we actually you know, went through a whole process of understanding what the consumer wanted. You know, actually figure out what is the human being behind all this. You know, who is giving you your money you know, and how are you going to get that money and how are you going to connect with that person, you know, even more importantly. Because that person keeps coming back, that, refer that, that constant revenue becomes a stable line of you know, revenue for the company. And that's basically what I did. I, I helped them with design, but I also helped them connect with their customers in a way that they get recurring revenue and they lower their risks um, in, in their company, you know, from competition, uh, from other companies that are going to try to come and roach on their space because they have a, such a tight fan base inside there because of understanding the user so well. So when you say connected, you're saying communication? Communications, yes. Okay, so when you do the communication, are you saying it's just a strategy or plan, or you really have the channels, identify the channels, discover the channels that are actually uh, doing all those the more executable, be, be, uh, be able to uh, carry out those kind of things? versus uh, about thousands of meters high and uh, talking about strategy. But that's the thing. Those, that company was actually interesting to me because it was thinking long term. It wasn't just thinking about the recurring profit. It was thinking about the, the profit over time. What other things might come that, you know, different variables in the equation of their business model, you know, that might, you know, disrupt their own um, company model as well. Um, so it wasn't about just the now Let's do the tactics, let's do the executables, you know, let's put a website out there, let's put a design out there, let's put a stationary out there, whatever it may be, you know, it was more about actually, you know, building something long term over time. But the short term results also show as well, because that leads also to the long term. Right, I had an, I had an interesting experience one time when I was doing strategy with, um, with, with a... Uh, with one of those health kind of coaches, right? One of those one-to-one uh, -one kind of coaches. And when I was doing strategy, they were very, very interested in those short-term plans, right? Those executional 
executional sort of plans, the, those things. And what we do is very flexible in the terms that we can also we can provide you with the game plan. We can provide you right with that sort of those executable things, right? Like those marketing funnels, all those things, and long term, right? It's not either or. It's all encompassing. So is that something that you see happening, or you are just thinking about short term, you know, right now for the start? No, yeah. The question I asked is not a short term or long term. I was asking what kind of plan you're going to to generate. Meaning, you you can you can say you generate a marketing plan, but some people are doing very high strategy one. And that doesn't go into like each channel, identify the channel, how to reach what type of people, identify what kind of the type of the people, and then it deliver what kind of message in a, a way those type of people uh, will be a suitable, the way of describing, uh, saying the same thing. So it's basically, uh, those are me more interesting. I'm not too, too much interested in the high, high level stuff. So I wanted to know, um, I have some uh, ideas, you know, how we going to progress uh, uh, through the life of this uh, whole project. And I have uh, um, identified some groups that I want to target first, and then second, third, so on and so forth, so, uh, lots of groups. But all those groups, and uh, they need the channels to reach out to them. What are those channels which I need to help? And then once you identify the channel, and then probably need to identify those groups of what are the things that they are most interested in. According to what they are most interested in, then you 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 come up with a message, a, a, a way of saying saying the value we bring to their interest, the way saying they those group of people understood. And then they will be excited to hear, then deliver to them. Deliver to them normally it's, a, it's a sales people, right? So when you deal with a startup, if the marketing people can do the sales as well, then it's perfect. That, that will be great, it will be wonderful. But you know, it's not that I'm asking. But I do asking is that if we identify the, what kind of people we want to go into, I need to know um, what, what will be the channels to reach them. And once you reach them, you probably want to conduct the study, what they really care about. And then once you do that, you, you need to really figure out a way for how to deliver what type of a message. That's a, I, the, the marketing I am thinking. Yeah, it will be really helping me. Yeah, let's, let's go back to the marketing, you know, uh, listen, I thank you so much for the first case. At least you helped me understand it. You'll be able to do the marketing through the Google search engine. So basically, you, you do something with Google search engine, then you promote the company uh, to the, you know, on top of the uh, engine list, then they um, have a more publicity. And how about uh, like a uh, Facebook, you know? With, with something that's in prototype and stuff like that, and expect to only pay so lean, you know? Yeah, she can go if she wanted that. She could go find. She could go on um, Upwork or something and find a Facebook marketer or something like that yeah. for fifty bucks or whatever. Yeah. But in terms of what she's wanting, right? She was wanting those faster sales cycles. She, she was does. wanting to go be able to go back to her investors and stuff, which is a sign. Like if 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 she already hasn't identified some of the channels that she's already in and that can you know she can go to marketing investors and that kind of stuff. It's a kind of a sign of a business that I don't really want to be working with because they're not already in the know. You know, she's and she was talking about like, oh, if you don't have proof, if you don't have proof, if you don't have proof. Hold on, this this conversation isn't about whether or not we can prove ourselves. This conversation is identifying where we can go with this. And the kind of thing is that she kept on trying to rule the conversation, and I didn't yeah, want to sound terrible. like a dick and just kind of keep going at her and be like, "No, this is how we're gonna." You know, I tried to keep it the structure as much as I could, man. I, I was, I was. It, it was it, very overwhelming. And the other thing too is that I just don't want to work with someone that that doesn't view us as a partner as well. Exactly. She more so views us as someone. I could tell.
Yeah, uh, dis- you know, indispens- yeah, dispensable, right? She us as someone that's not, uh, you know, we're looking to actually partner up and stuff. Um, unfortunately, I didn't want to mention that I was under contract, right? Because then she would be like, oh, that's a ho- that's a bullet, that's baloney, you know? You're just saying that because you don't have any proof, you know? She's very, she was very, uh, that kind of thing. Tell me in the next five minutes or why I shouldn't get That was really cool. Yeah, what was the hell? <laughs> Sharp. You know that kind of whatever, dude. It just and the the thing is, is that I think that in terms of us, right? I think I communicated very well the value in which that we can bring. The only reason why I couldn't touch on Facebook marketing and the and the, and the stuff is that I, I I I'm under contract. I can't do face. I personally cannot do Facebook marketing for someone. That's so. I strange. cannot do it. Jesus yeah, because I'm under a no a non compete a no compete. So I've um I've you know. Nine or ten more months of not being able to do anything for that. So I'm going to ask him. I'm going to go and I'm going to ask him. Hey, can I just do paid ads? Can I just perform paid ads for people? Yeah. Okay. Because under the no compete, right? It's social media marketing in general, and it's because he says he has a prep. Uh, he he says he has a proprietary process. Right and proprietary whatever, but a lot of it isn't, and a lot of it's just articulated in a different way. But it's the same thing. Yeah. Just adapt your content, you know, for the people that you want to follow or you want them to follow. That's all, you know. Uh, anyways, so I didn't want to get into that. I didn't want to get into yeah. oh, I'm under contract. I can't. So my thinking was is that maybe if we can be the delegators, right, and we and the, we manage it, right. And the, and the other thing I was going to mention is that but we couldn't control the conversation, man. It was a it was a back and we couldn't do it. We there was no we couldn't see eye to eye on things. There was there was nothing there, like and no well, yeah, collaboration. I, mean, I really did not feel that. It just felt like what well, you yeah. do. Give me. It sounds like a job interview. I don't fucking want this shit. Jesus Christ. Well, but the thing is, is that she was giving me advice of stuff that I already knew. I, oh, I don't need your was, advice. That was brilliant, wasn't I it? Was sitting there, <laughs> I was saying this, like, you guys need, you know, you guys just need to be able to do something like this. And I'm like, I, in the back of my head, I'm like, I know how to do this. I just can't do it. I cannot personally do it. I cannot personally advertise that I can do something like that, you know, which is just Facebook marketing. If you're talking about Google Ads, if you're talking about Heck, even LinkedIn, right? LinkedIn wasn't even a part of it. LinkedIn ads or something like that, then we could be talking about that kind of stuff. But in terms of Facebook specifically, I couldn't be able just to whip it out and be like, yeah, you know, yeah, this and that, you know, that kind of. I started to, I started to do a, a, a little Facebook promotion thing that we did at our um, other one and how unique it was and how we had to really identify, you know, what these people liked on Facebook, what these, um, they were between the ages of 24. And 32, you know, those people typically work in those uh, industries, which was HVAC, you know, people that they were kind of looking for. They were interested in interesting rap and heavy metal music. So we targeted people who were fans of that within the area that were also in that, that also would like their own company page, you know, be able to target those and get those people on to, hey, do you hate your job? The kind of messaging that we put in, we found out through, you know, Glassdoor and all those kinds of, you know, places and review sites, you know, how people really felt about the company that they worked for. And we saw patterns. They didn't, you know, they, they, they weren't very flexible with, you know, the hours that they work, right? And people wanted, uh, especially with that age age, they wanted, you know, the weekends free. A lot of them didn't give them the weekends free, that kind of thing, you know, because those people advertise 24 hours, 7 a day, 24 hours a day, that's what they advertise. We can come to you 24 hours a day and fix your heater or your plumbing or whatever. And so people in the employees were fed up with it. So what we did is we targeted the message right to those, you know, to those people. Hey, you know, are you sick and tired of, you know, feeling like you're, you know, unappreciated, that kind of thing. What we did is we identified what their feelings were. They felt unappreciated. They felt overworked. They felt underpaid. They felt um, dispensable, right? Those kinds of things. So they wanted, so what's the opposite, right? They wanted to feel valuable. They wanted to feel like they got paid appropriately. They wanted to feel like they were actually, they actually mattered in the company. So once we identified that, we were able to tailor the ads specifically to them. I can do that. We can do that, especially with something like this. But the thing is, is I think, what was it again? What was her, what was her product again? What was her product again? We couldn't find out because she wouldn't say. The only there was thing nothing heard, we could help her with because she couldn't say. She wouldn't disclose any no, information. 
You told me, wait, so was it like a transportation kind of That's thing? all I got from it, you know, but she never discussed what her, what the plan was, you know, she didn't understand, she didn't, couldn't tell us any of that because she had to send an NDA and then she got angry because of that, you know, it's, it's fucking bullshit, man, I don't, I don't understand, how am I supposed to, how am I supposed to help you if you don't give me information, woman? <laughs> well, the other thing too is that she just seemed to be um, very much on the offense in terms of, she came in, she came in dubious, right? You can't come in dubious. And the other thing is that part of that, part of the onus is that on us, that we haven't sent enough material to establish that we already know, I right? See. She shouldn't, she shouldn't be coming into the meeting thinking, how, you know, what, what, what have you guys done? She should be coming in the meetings. How can you help me, right? We should have already answered that question before. I so I did next, though. And our next I, little bit in terms of the onboarding process, we really need to nail down our case studies. We need, really, really need to nail down our marketing material, and how, our steps that we take. So when we out, you know, our follow up, we should always include that getting started guide with us. We should always include the case studies. We should always include that kind of stuff. So that way, they already have an idea of what we can do. Right? That way, they already have a picture. So the conversation can really switch into something like this. And that's the only, that's the problem with outbound sales, right? It's the problem with outbound sales is because we have to prove ourselves. But if we switch it, if we do an outbound outreach, right, an inbound, uh, inbound onboarding, those answers would be questioned. You know I mean, those, I mean, those, those questions how would have answers already. And so that's something that we can improve on. But I think we did good. I don't think we should be discouraged, like she said, you know, even though I wasn't discouraged at all. And I don't like it when people say, you know, I'm, I apologize for being frank. I don't care. Be frank with me. Tell yeah. me, you know, hey, say that you hate my face and my hair looks like. Go ahead, yeah. Well, it looks, it looks sexy, actually. But whatever. You know, like, tell me whatever. I want you to Go be ahead. frank. That's fine. I don't care about frankness. I don't care about you cursing or anything. I care, though, that if it's, a, if it's two ways, it has to be two ways. Otherwise, I can't help you. Otherwise, I'm, I'm not here to do that crap. Jeez. Well, another thing, I found it really rude. When she laughed, oh she boy. laughed at us. Do you, do you remember that? Well, when was she said, laughing at you? Yeah. I hope she was. Laughing. No. She, was, she was laughing at me. She said, "Yeah, she was." She's like, "Ah!" Ha, 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 ha. I was sitting here. I'm like, "Okay," because I thought maybe I could, you know, go back to the people that I used to work for and be like, "Hey, can you take this project on?" And they're very affordable. They would do just Facebook ads for five hundred a month. Wow. Okay, and she doesn't have five hundred dollars a month. I couldn't even right? figure she out her budget. We didn't even get to budget. This thing was already dead by the <laughs> by the the last question of no, the first question. But the other thing too is that um, she was she was very combative. She's not going to find people that are going to be both short and long term. She's not going to find that kind That's of thing. But the down this the bottom line is the restriction in there was something out of our control. I could have, I could have said yes, we can do That's something right. like that, you know, and that kind of thing. I can say those kind of you whatever. I just know? want to know what her but, product was about, but she, there was nothing there. That that's the problem. It was all about us, 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 us. You can't help me. Well, but, it's not. Yeah. It's not a job interview. It's it, not a job. That's what interview. I'm saying. Just, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's the thing. Is is it as soon as she as soon as she started threatening, you know, we should have said, listen, this isn't a job interview. You know, we'd be glad to send you case studies, but in terms of the structure of today's meeting, we would like to keep to the agenda that we had set, right? And if, you, if you're not willing to do that, then we'll be just as glad to hop off of this thing as you. You know, you can't come in, you know, guns a blazing like that and expect a partnership role, expect someone to actually, you know, uh, imply or actually tell you their value when you don't even get the, give them the opportunity to. So that kind of thing... That kind of, you know, that kind of method going into it is just, you know, you're showing us as a company that you're not really thinking of us as a partner. You're more so thinking of us as grunts to do whatever. And that's sort of, that's the work that we're not really interested in. We want to make sure that we're, you know, helping uh, the actual businesses that we're working with. So, unfortunately, let's just hop off the meeting and uh, I wish you the best of luck. And then, boom, have it there. And she would be like, no, no, let, let's, you know, yes. that kind of thing. Then we have, then, then we know we actually have some sort of power. But if she just doesn't care and says, okay, bye, then that's just not a, that's just not a I mean, she was already there. telling us we weren't a good fit. <laughs> we? No. Even if, even if, I don't really care. Because, um, in terms of, I mean, she doesn't even, to be honest, right, for her kind of stuff, she's not, she's not in a position to even pay us what we're worth anyways. Because think of it, she doesn't have a website, 
there's no branding out there. There's no social media presence. Yeah. I can't find it. You know, I can't find anything at this at this point. You know, we've already and I should have brought that up. Like, listen, I've already done right market research on you guys. I can't find you anywhere. So what have you done? What have you done to build anything up? Yeah. Is this something that we're gonna have to build from square one? Right? Are you still at square one? Right? So instead of coming at me, right? Like I'm at square one. Let's look at your company. I've tried. What is it? Flowbots or Flopbots or Dropbox or something like that. I don't know. You know, <laughs> some sort of stuff like that. So I've already done research on it. Right? I got prepared. So in terms, of, we shouldn't feel bad for not being involved with her. Because that would have been a messy situation anyway. I don't believe it would have been a good client. It wouldn't have been a relationship. It would have been order taker. I, I could feel it. Right. Yeah. Right. Plus she did send, you know, Asian. So. The Asians, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, she sounded very Yeah, nice. yeah. She sounded she sound like she knew she did. She did IT architecture, which just really means, that's just the pansy way of saying I do IT. That's just the pansy way of saying... Uh, I do routers and stuff like that. Really? RT architecture really is just you're you're planning, um, you're just planning, you know, routers and switches and stuff like right, that. Right, right. And for her to for her to you know um, come at me for uh, not having a traditional. Uh, oh, that I picked up too immediately. I was like, oh boy, the degree thing. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Well, the other thing too is I was like, okay, listen here, uh, the degree, right? In terms of it, if someone if someone still places that sort of that that amount of value on a degree, right? That's someone I definitely don't want to work with because they're definitely not in tune with how things work anymore. You know, they're definitely not in tune with how with how people are um, how people are getting information and actually getting educated nowadays. When I was in college, it's not like I didn't go to college. I just never got a degree. When I was in college, I learned way more from the subjects that we were learning offline, you know, I mean online, than I did in class or in the in the textbook. The textbook just gave a very vague overview. What was interesting is when we came to testing, when it came to testing for those kinds of things, a lot of the information wasn't even in the textbook. I had I learned the information that I needed for those tests off, you know, off the internet. So, you know, I just don't understand the. Uh, the the place the placement of important. Either way, dude, I think we killed it, dude. We're doing right. good, man. Oh my god. Did I? Okay, yes or no? Did I come back well with that with that with that SEO story? Yeah, you did. You can, it was really good. I love that one. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's going in. <laughs> <laughs> going in. Well, she was just. Oh man. Lovely person. She was just. Yeah, she was not fun. She was not fun at all. It's okay, though. I hope she doesn't try to ruin our reputation, though. I hope if you go back to one of those sort of meetings and stuff and try to hand out more business cards and that kind of thing, that she isn't going to try well, to. Well, I don't know if I'll be going to that one anymore because maybe it's too educational and maybe there aren't people there who are looking for that. Um, so I'm going to other ones, obviously. Don't I'm not, <laughs> I didn't just figure this one. This is the one. It's like, no. I, I like... <laughs> Ten lined up. I, I have found the gold <laughs> line. Yeah, yeah like we'll yeah. have the. So yeah, I have like I have five meeting five meetups uh, this week, all in a row. Awesome. And then July, I have all booked, all different. All Wednesday, there's going to be wine and wealth, which is an interesting meetup, which I like because there's wine and there are people there that could possibly give us business. So. Awesome. Beautiful. And I will go ahead and, yeah, the other thing too is I just don't, I'm, I just, the, she's like, with, with other startups and that kind of stuff, I mean, listen, your startup probably isn't very funded then. If you don't have the, uh, the amount, you know, because I was thinking, I'm thinking that maybe she thinks since we're just two young dudes that we'll do it for five bucks, right? <laughs> That's right. Right, like, our, you know, two young dudes are just going to do it for five bucks and those kind of, you know. And all the stuff that she was saying, I'm like, we can do that. I really, no, no. dude, we try. listen, I tried my best to position myself as an expert, you know, like this, as an agency. We we did professional follow-up emails with email signatures, our site in the, the thing, you know. I described what our company did, you know, our name. Uh, so I don't know what happened. I thought something must have gone, like, awry. I don't know. 
Yeah, me too. Um, and that kind of thing is like, whatever, you know. But the website's whatever. almost done, right? So, you know, we have that. The website is basically designed. I just need to make sure that everything is, is as good as I want it to be. But yeah. um, I had such a bad uh, holdup because I traded my MacBook, decided I didn't want my MacBook yeah. traded, baked for the guy, spent 60 bucks to get my MacBook back, and now I'm back at square one. So I need to go ahead and just develop it and make sure that everything yeah. is in place. So, and also I need to set up that questionnaire that people link to right after that. Exactly, yeah. yeah. You said and we're going to also get leads from the Google search, if possible. Yes, we will definitely get leads with the amount of people we're looking for. We might get, we will actually, we might be in a position to be educational as well. So we might be in a position yeah. to actually be an educational resource as well for uh, brand strategy. Awesome. So, yeah. Um, no, it was good. We did a good. We did good, man. This is awesome. We did good. You know what? All I'm, I'm all I'm, you know, really happy about is that we're moving. I mean, I'm just been, just been limbo. You know, there was nothing yeah. going on. I was just calling you from the UK. It's like, what's happening, bruh? It's just <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing. <laughs> Zip. Two brown, two brown people going for gold. <laughs> yeah. Now things are moving. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling this. Good. So, anything else you want to say? Um, no, just good job. All right, bro. I think it went good. I think, um, in terms of what we were looking for, uh, did really fit for us, was not a fit for her. So everything was all good. I'm just gonna beg my wife for that, um, for that course that I want to take. Please, so. I'll do anything for you. Please, I'll mow the lawn like I said the last week. Okay. All right. All right. All right peace out, brother. Peace. Bye.